Father, we come before you. We just want to say thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Lord, we know this is a special day that's been set aside to celebrate your daughter, her coming of age. We're celebrating Jordan. And, and Lord, we just pray a blessing on this day. Be here with us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became of age, I put childish things away. And the Apostle Paul here, he's speaking about a time in our lives when we transition or, or change. As we celebrate you, Jordan, becoming that young woman, um, it's very important to know that as your friends and, your, and as your family, they're all gathering together, they're all making this day special because they want to be part of ushering you in to this new chapter in your life. It takes a village to raise a child. Right? It takes, so thank God for parents and grandparents, but it takes everybody to pour into you to become the person that God has called you to be. As a pastor, I want to remind you of just a couple of very important things. Things that you will need to hold close to your heart as you continue on this journey of becoming a young woman. First is your priorities. Keep God first. In Matthew 6, it says, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. It's such a powerful message to us about keeping God first. There's a lot of things that will begin to seem more important to you now than they did before. When you were a little girl, like money, clothes, work, cars, boys, all of a sudden all these things are going to become more and more important. But God says, I know that you need these things, but don't become a chaser of these things. Keep God first. And he says, when you keep him first, then all these things are going to, he's going to add to your life. We were created with purpose, for purpose. That's what I believe. I like to tell the church, we don't serve a just because God. But we serve a God of purpose and He made you with purpose. And the Bible says in Ephesians that you are His craftsmanship. In other words, God's fingerprints are on your life. That means you're special, mama. That there's all kinds of things in this world that would want to pull at us, that would want to pollute us, God, distract us, Lord. If we speak a blessing on this next chapter, Lord, we love you and we thank you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Have fun, Mama. I don't know if I can. These are the days I will remember. These are the faces I need most. Everything changes, but I'll keep forever. These days I will remember, these days I will remember Still got that trophy that says second place Still got that breakup letter from my old flame And I know it's been too long to recall it right But you don't forget the goodbyes And you don't forget the good times Still got that scar from my one and only fight Still remember when your father left and we drove all night 
And I know it's been too long to recall it right But you don't forget the goodbyes And you don't forget the good times No, you don't forget the goodbyes And you don't forget the good times These are the days I will remember blanket from when you were born that night love hit me like a heavy storm and i know it's been too long to recall it right but you don't forget the goodbyes and you don't forget the good times no you don't forget the goodbyes and you don't forget the good times these are the days i will remember Thank you. 
big dear ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for them.
Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Let's go ahead and get uh, Auntie Mona ready for... Uh... Come to the middle.
intensifies so fast I'm trying to absorb the seconds while they last You sent your smile, the twinkle in your eye On the first, every low and every high Catching tears when I'm looking at your face You're the best part of me, you are my saving grace Do I have to press this? No. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Is this on? All right. What could I say about my beautiful, absolutely beautiful niece? He absolutely looked gorgeous, Mia. I am so proud 
of the young woman you are becoming. Standing right here brings tears almost to my eyes. They're very, very, very beautiful. I remember when your mom, I be home, get this right. I remember, uh, hey, you're messing up my speech, me home. I remember when your mom uh, broke the news and said she was uh, pregnant and having another baby and uh, we're real proud and here you are. Oh, hey, I'm not done, don't clap yet. <laughs> Mia. What I want for you, the sky's the limit, Jordan. You're smart. You're talented, very beautiful. And not only that, Mija, I'm proud of you, you're in cheer. <laughs> yeah, you make me cry. Although you won't invite Aunt Simona because you know I bring my pom-poms and start cheering, okay? <laughs> so you choose not to invite me, but I'm gonna, until your games, actually. Jordan, you are just like your mom and a mini version of her. Not only am I the older sister and your tia and your auntie Mona, but you are like my mom as well. Who's a prettier sister? You boss me around just like my younger sister and I love you to pieces. I wouldn't have it any other way, mama. You are like a beautiful sister to your brothers, missing in action. And you are a little princess. And I want the best for you, mama. And don't stop here. Keep reaching for the stars, okay? I love you, mija. Uh, this is her Uncle Ernie. <laughs> her Uncle Conrad. No, I'm just playing. Hi, mama. I just want to say happy birthday. I love you. You're getting big now. Time flies by. Um, if you ever need me, I'm always gonna be here for you. I promise you. And I won't let you down, okay? And I have your mom's back too. And you're getting bigger, so love you all my heart. And just don't ever be scared to reach out to me, okay? I'm girl really loves you, my mom. Hey Jordan, I'm proud of you. You're smart, and you're gonna be a bigger. Wow, damn! Two more years, you're gonna be 18. So, my what do you always call her? Who's your prince? Your princess. <laughs> my princess. I love you, mama. Happy birthday. And on, and on that note, her. Uh, even though I wasn't chosen to be the Nina because I'm her auntie Mona. Her beautiful Nina over there, Sam, right there sitting down, you know, has always been in her life, loves her to pieces. Every birthday, Sam is there for her, my cousin Sam. She doesn't miss it, and she's been there since the day she was born, literally. And I'm her Aunt Simona, but Sam has been there literally, side by side there for Jordan and my sister. And I thank you, Sam, because because part of this, this quinceanera, Sandra contributed as well. And on that note, because she is the Nina of my princess, and that's her princess, she did buy her beautiful dress as well, because that's who her Nina is. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to pass it now to my, my niece. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay. Is it someone else next? No, oh. I need it. Okay. Ready? I can't do this. Oh my. I can't do this. Hi, everyone. I just want to give a quick little speech and start off by giving a big thank you to everybody who came out tonight. I appreciate every single one of you and it means the world to me. 
I want to start start off by thanking everyone who made this night possible, which is my mom, my dad, my grandpa, my grandma, my Nina, and I can't name the rest, but thank you guys. Okay, I want to start off by thank you my dad. He started planning this about three years ago. He put so much work and dedication into making sure everything went smooth and good. And for that, I'm always gonna be super grateful for him. Thank you, Dad, I love you. My next thank you goes to everyone who helped me become the person I am today. Both of my grandmas, my two brothers, all of my uncles, all of my aunts, and my number one customer, my grandpa. I love you guys all so much, and I'm gonna be forever grateful for you. And finally, my biggest thank you tonight goes to the person who gave birth to me, the person I'm lucky enough to be able to call my mom. You aren't just my mom, you're my safe place, my laughter, my joy, my happiness, and the list can go on for days, but most of all, as I continue growing up, Growing up, I I pray and I I pray and hope to be a strong, independent woman just like you. You're my inspiration in life, and you inspire me to be the best version of myself, just like you. I will always love you, M Mom. Thank you. Hello everyone, I just want to say thank you and thank you to everyone who put a lot of dedication into this and helped me out. Um, I want to thank my daughter um, just for being her. She's a be very beautiful princess. She was not even nervous at all. <laughs> um, but I want to thank, thank um, everyone who helped me out my co-workers, my brother, my sister-in-law, um, everyone, everyone who pitched in on every little thing. Thank you, and let's have a good night. It's a little bit long, so everybody get a seat because you're going to get tired from standing up. All right, everybody wants to dance, so let's make it short. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> today we celebrated uh, Jordan, your 16th birthday. And after almost three and a half years of planning the event, it's here today, tonight. So I always hope you remember that. I want to say thank you for having the privilege to be your dad, because it's a privilege to be alive and to have a daughter like you. You're the person who brings me a smile, who cheers me up when problems in my life happen. So, <clears throat> you know, whatever happens in my life, you're always there for me. And you never judge me. So I appreciate that. You bring peace into my life and you make me smile. And that is why I am proud to be your dad. You hear me out, you listen to me, and you don't judge me. I can't tell you how grateful I am that God brought you in my life for all the memories that we have shared together as a family. Me, you, mommy, grandpa, grandpa Jack, Nani, 
Joseph and Trevon, your brothers, and Milo. <laughs> we can't forget about Milo. Those are the memories that, that I'll always uh, remember, pretty much. Um, just one thing I always want you to remember, that no matter how bad your day is going, or how many times you fall down in life, don't ever let anybody, or anyone or anybody, tell you your self-worth. So you get back up. You're a very strong girl. I see that already. And you always show them, you know, your value. Don't let anybody ever take your self-worth away from you. Tonight, I wish you the happiest 16th birthday and many more to come. And I hope you have fun uh, the rest of two hours, uh, I believe we have here. Two and a half hours with your friends. Okay? Happy birthday, Mija.